What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about Oryx Challenge Mode. Today the final King's Fall Raid Challenge Mode dropped, that being Oryx and the speculation on what the challenge would be prior to today has been crazy but in today's video I want to clarify the challenge and what's needed to be done to defeat Oryx and receive them challenge mode rewards and also we can check out the loot obtainable for the challenge itself and the collection of all 50 calcified fragments ok so let's start with the challenge well it's as simple as destroying 16 orbs yes that's actually the challenge all it takes is a perfect run 4 runs of killing ogres and detonating all 16 orbs at the end of the 4 runs it doesn't matter about deaths either as long as the orbs are activated it's all good now you can wipe as many times as you want also so you don't have to worry about that I thought personally it would have been at least a different runner every time but nope Bungie wanted to keep it easy again a lot like the War Priest challenge a lot of people will be doing this without even realising but yep that is it guys you kill them ogres you do this with 4 perfect runs that way you'll have 16 orbs to activate at the end don't forget you want to kill them ogres in the same position otherwise them orbs are going to be all over the place and when it comes to activating all 16 at the end it's going to be near impossible once you've done this you are ready to collect your rewards so the rewards obtainable from this challenge mode on hard it's basically 320s of anything the raid has to offer doing it on normal 310s is what you'll be getting. Doing on hard mode also rewards you two artifacts, one from normal being a 310 and one from hard being a 320 defense. You also get the emblem which is called of light and hunger. There's one guaranteed 320 doing it on hard mode like I said. Could be anything from the raid, armor or weapon wise. Doing it on normal, this is a 310. I can confirm also, doing this on hard mode, you will receive the Agonarch Carve Ship. I'm not sure if you receive that doing it on normal. If anyone can clarify that in the comment section, that would be epic. Doing it on hard, you do get that epic looking ship. Now for the collection of 50 calcified fragments, you are rewarded a shader, and that is it which is received after talking to Eris Morn and you are all done, challenge mode is completed and as it seems there is nothing other than the shader for the collection of 50 calcified fragments which to me is very disappointing I mean like without the help of a calcified fragment locator on the internet or an app a lot of people will struggle to find all 50 of these and for it you get a shader which is called the Beltane which in my opinion don't look that good the black and it's way too dark you can't even see the features of the armour but still each to their own a lot of people will probably love this shader but me personally I think for the collection of 50 calcified fragments we deserve something a little more but hey who's to say uh, a quest won't trigger sometime down the line like it did for the sleeper simulant we're just gonna have to wait and see but that is it guys I wanna give a massive shout out to Doug117 who done this challenge first thing this morning and allowed me to record his rewards also giving me some information I needed for this video so a massive shout out to Doug117 now if you guys have done the challenge mode let me know what you got down below in that comment section I'll be grinding this out later for sure but guys that's it that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it do drop a like I'd appreciate the support subscribe for daily destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out till next time peace we all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads, gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.